to our house. I want to give you a tour of our place and show you what it looks like. Also, guys, look at this. Look at this. I did my hair today. No makeup, but we got the hair done, so it's a good day. Anyways, I just want to show you our house just for a frame of reference. It is 1,352 square feet. There are four people and one miniature dachshund living in this house. We uh, do not have a basement, but we do have an attic in our house that you can walk up. So there is some storage up there and we do have a garage. It is not attached. It is pretty far away from the house. So everything that we need and use on a regular basis in the house is in the house. So welcome and I hope you enjoy this and it's helpful for you. Okay, the first tip that I'm gonna give you is to paint your space brighter, whiter, lighter colors. This entire house was originally painted brown when we moved in and I have painted most of the entire house lighter colors and that has helped open up the space. We're moving on and you see the living room and one great thing about this whole entire house is all the natural lighting that is a part of it and I like to take advantage of that. Additionally, you'll notice that the walls are bare. There are a couple reasons for that. One is we are preparing to move and so I've taken down pretty much everything. I never had much hanging up in the first place. Another reason is because our walls are concrete and so it is more challenging to hang things. But a third reason is because I like a cleaner space. So yeah. that is another way to make a space look bigger is just don't hang many things on your walls. I am all about having a few select pieces that I like. Our living room and our dining room. So it's a pretty open floor plan, which is nice. That in and of itself helps create a larger looking space. And if you have a lot of walls and your house is more broken up, there's not a whole lot you can do about that um, unless you wanna tear down walls. But one thing you'll notice is mirrors do help create an illusion of a larger space. Okay, let's talk about the dining room. You see three pieces of furniture, the dining room table, a computer armoire, and a china hutch. This space is a multifunctional space because it serves as both an office space and the dining room, and it also holds functional pieces for my kitchen. When you have a smaller space, you want to try to create multi-purpose rooms or spaces that can function in many ways and so have pieces of furniture that can also function in multiple ways if possible. The uh, computer armoire and the china hutch are both nice vertical pieces. They don't take up tons of floor space, which is great. We used to have two desks and we got rid of them both and condensed everything down into this one computer armoire. The dining room table functions as a desk in the evenings for my husband's job and so it's basically our office space slash our dining room and that works well for us the china hutch houses silverware that we use every day everyday dishes bowls um, and then special occasion dishes are down below okay you can see we're coming into the kitchen here i did a light gray wall with white cupboards and brighten this entire space up. The walls used to be brown. The cupboards were black and brown. It was very depressing. I lined all of the cupboards and shelves with gray and white liner. It made it feel like everything was clean because prior to that, everything felt disgusting and dirty. The large white cupboard houses most of my large pots and pans, baking dishes, Tupperware, food processor, things like that. Because as you'll notice, most of the cupboard space I have is up high or it's not large enough to hold larger items. The other tip that I wanted to share with you is to keep your counters as clear as possible. You'll see I have some jars and I do have some utensils that I use all the time in a jar out and then I also have a drying rack and that is what I keep on my countertops 
and if you can, double up what you keep on your countertops as also decor. This is the laundry room slash mudroom slash where the refrigerator is slash where my pantry is. It is a very multi-functional room. I just want to make a couple notes here. Wherever you can, consider where additional shelving can be added in your house. Originally, there uh, behind where the diapers are hang drying, there is cupboard, but it was wasted space. And so my husband added several shelves in there and that now holds most of my canned goods and serves as a much better use of that space. Okay, so you can see where the pull down attic ladder is. We mostly use our attic for Christmas tree storage and Christmas decorations, children's clothing, painting supplies, and a few other miscellaneous items, but that is the bulk of it. All right, now we are looking at the what we call the boiler room. It houses the water heater and also the laundry sorter and some other additional storage, which is great. We added white shelving in this room that houses our laundry detergent and some other laundry supplies and some of our larger kitchen appliances. Next up is the bathroom, el baño. Okay, so in here, I've painted grays and whites, painted the vanity, painted the walls. There used to be wallpaper and that immediately brightened up everything, made the space feel cleaner, larger. Use over the door hooks if you can. We have one restroom. You see uh, an infant baby bathtub as well as adult robe and the over the door hangers are wonderfully helpful for keeping this space organized. You'll notice I have a lace shower curtain. Lace gives a more airy, light feel to the room, so it does matter what types of fabrics you use in rooms, and so I went with a lace curtain because it helps keep it light. Our hallway closet needs to be decluttered first off, <laughs> but this holds our coats, games, linens, towels, suitcases, tools, wrapping paper, piano and voice music, first aid kits, winter wear, scarves, gloves, some other miscellaneous items, and there's even an empty diaper box because we are, Lord willing, moving, and so I am collecting empty boxes at this point. Next up is the master bedroom. You will notice... First off, that it is still the, the original brown color. The rest of the house was painted. And the other thing you might notice is that between our bed frame and our mattress is a foam mattress topper. And that's because when I'm pregnant, I like more cushion. And when I'm not, I want a firmer mattress. So where to store that in the meantime? Well, we decided to store it between our mattress and our bed frame. And that has worked out wondrously extra beds or pull-out beds or things like that. You just have to get creative with where to put them. This is one of the kids' bedrooms and you can see the toy storage system I came up with is just to use industrial shelving and that's worked great. It will be multifunctional because once we're out of the toy stage, it can be used for books, it could be used for clothing, it could be used for tools in the garage, it can turn into any other type of shelving. And so that has worked great for his toys. Don't feel like you have to buy organizers and boxes you can always make your own i like to take diaper boxes and cover them in contact paper i have also covered shoe boxes in fabric and decorated those to make them look like cute organizers last room is the nursery you'll see i have minimal decor again i like to keep visual clutter at a minimum and the decor I do have, I like to be functional. So the shelves that I do have on the wall, they hold a white noise machine, um, a rechargeable nightlight, a Kleenex box, and there's a little clock. And then there's just a couple sentimental pieces that I have for decoration. And then the large dresser, it also doubles as a changing table. So when you can find furniture that is multifunctional, go with that. Then the hope chest is 
a place to sit as well as storage for toys. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you got some good tips for what you can do to make a smaller space look and feel larger and organize some of your things. If you like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to ensure you don't miss out on future videos. And let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you'd like to see and then for your added viewing pleasure, I've included some pictures at the end of this of what our house looked like when we very first bought it and moved in. And it's come a long way since then. So I hope you enjoy the before and afters. Thanks, guys. See you next time.